Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And yes, I do have a crazy hat on. You guys just know I went on an amazing trip to Florida. And so I thought I might as well wear the hat in this video and my hair is absolutely crazy. So in today's video, we are going to be jumping in, looking at what is going on with the S&P 500, what, with the general stock market. As of today, we did get a decent amount of sell-off and a lot of people are nervous right now saying, Carter, are we due for a crash or a recession and all that stuff? So we're going to be talking about it. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. If you guys have any questions, by all means, ask down below. And if you guys want to learn more about swing trading and trading in the stock market, I highly recommend going on and checking out my school it's absolutely fantastic you guys can use code half off to get 50 percent off it's only valid for this week it's like a little early spring sale you guys loved it so i thought we would continue the uh, coupon for a couple of uh weeks here so guys check that out down below and let's uh, jump into this here. So looking at the S&P 500 chart here, you guys can see that over the past pretty much six months, the S&P 500 has been on a nonstop roar of straight buying pressure. I drew this trend line out, pretty much this lime green line. And you guys can see we've been on this nonstop roar each and every time it hits that line, getting natural buying pressure and all that stuff. The market lately, or pretty much over the past couple of months, has been really getting held up, in my opinion, by technology. We've seen companies like NVIDIA, uh, Meta, all these massive companies that are in the S&P and in the market that is keeping a lot of things in float. Now, recently here, you guys can see this big wick right here. This represents sell-off. You guys can see this was the first time in over six months where we had a decent dip down. This was one of the largest sell-offs we've seen in over a year. Now, what we're starting to see is a different type of trend. As of right now, we're slowly starting to see a trend going in this direction. Now, does this mean we are due for a absolute crash. Well, that's not necessarily true. What we saw today is a decent amount of sell-off because of this, right? The Dow Jones closes about 400 points lower. And let's go ahead and make it a little easier for you guys to be able to uh, see here. So as we scroll down here, pretty much what happened here is interest, interest rates. We, we saw the Federal Reserve come out and pretty much give their give give insight on the March inflation. So it came in a little hotter than expected, likely pu pushing off interest rates cuts by the Federal Reserve that investors have been anticipating. So about last year, the Federal Reserve came out and said, hey, you know, in 2024, expect some interest rates cuts. Now, what this causes is investors to flock and invest and be, you know, they want to invest their money. They want it. They're not scared to hold it. Now, when people come out and say, hey, interest rates are getting higher and uh, there's a chance where we uh, don't, you know, we don't cut rates, we could possibly increase them or even pause them. This slows down spending. That is why the Federal, Federal Reserve cuts rates is to increase spending and, uh, on, and, and they have a general grasp of inflation as of right now that is not the case let's continue to uh, uh, scroll down here so we can see so the cpi in march rose about 0.4 percent for the month and about 3.5 percent year over year so versus an estimate of 0.3 percent which you know that 0.1% might not seem like a big deal, but for massive investors, for Wall Street, for people that are looking to invest, that's a huge deal, okay? So that was the monthly increase and 3.4% over the past 12 months. So people are nervous, people are scared, people wanna sell, and that's that. You know, looking at this chart here, you guys can see that we always hear the expression of buy low, sell high. Now, if you had a billion dollars to invest, one billion dollars, and they said, I need you to make money now in the next 10 years, would you want to buy here? To answer that question is, 
kind of yes, you do, because it's always better to have time in the market than trying to time the market. But understanding cycles and market cycles are super important. So a good strategy. Are we due for a crash? buddy, I can't read the future. What I do know is the market goes up and it goes down. What goes up must come down. I understand that. I'm well aware of that. If the market does dip, guess what? I am buying as much as I can. I'm going to buy <laughs> everything. I'm going to buy blue chip companies, dividend stocks, ETFs, and I think that's the approach you should have. If you're nervous, if you're looking to retire next year, then maybe, maybe sell your shares. Maybe. We're hitting all-time highs. So you could miss out on some profit down the road. But if you're looking to hold for the long run, I would not be worried about a crash. Crashes bring opportunity, and you should not be scared. That is my approach. That is my plan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Take care.